Maybe they're just both equally as good? Has this whole video been pointless? There have always been two main Speedcube retailers, the Cubicle and Speedcube Shop. Of course, there are others like Daily Puzzles, but which one is better? If you ask any random cuber, it's a 50-50 chance which one they're gonna say. If you mainly shop at Speedcube Shop, that's probably what you're gonna pick. The same goes for the Cubicle. Personally, I shop at Speedcube Shop, but I wanna find the non-biased opinion on which one is better. So in this video, I will be rating each company on their different characteristics to try to settle this debate once and for all. There are five sections that they will be rated on. Customer service, quality control, website quality, YouTube channel quality, and finally, puzzle variety. Now, without any further ado, let's get into the video. To score, whatever company is better in this chosen characteristic, they get a point. Most points at the end of the video wins. First up is customer service. I have bought plenty of cubes from both companies. I've generally bought in more from Speedcube Shop. And generally, my experiences with Speedcube Shop have been better. When I ordered my 2x2, the GAN 251M Leap, Speedcube Shop said on their website that they did not yet have it, but when they got it, they would ship it to me. I knew this ahead of time, but I really wanted it, so I ended up buying it. After about a week or so, they sent me an apologizing email saying that they didn't have it yet, but they hoped to ship it out to me soon. The next week, I got another email. They said, again, they didn't have it yet, which was completely fine. This time, they offered me 10%, or maybe it was 20%, something around that range, off a different cube, and I could cancel the GAN order and get something else that might be in stock. I politely denied this because I really wanted the GAN cube and waited a bit longer. Yet another week later, they sent another email. This time they gave me an even better offer. They said I could switch my cube order out for any cube more expensive than that one, of course, within a certain range. I'm not gonna go trade out a $30 cube for the 21 by 21 or something. But besides that, this was an incredible offer. Still, I really wanted the cube, so I accepted to wait longer. About a week and a half later, I was getting impatient, so I was about ready to switch my GAN out for the MGC Elite 2x2, but just at that moment, Speedcube Shop sent me an email saying their cube had shipped. You can tell they really wanted me to have a good shopping experience, and they went to incredible lengths to ensure that I did. A similar thing happened with the cubicle. I just ordered the Tornado V3 Pioneer version, and they said they didn't have it in stock quite yet, but they would get it within a week or two. So, I ordered it. And for two months, yes, I mean literally two months, I got no email, no information from them at all, and the website kept saying that they were still not in stock. After those two months, it did end up shipping. Honestly, I would be fine with this if Speaky Shop hadn't gone out of their way before this had happened to make sure I had a good shopping experience. The cubicle just didn't send anything and just made me deal with it until it shipped. I have nothing against the cubicle, but this point is going to undoubtedly go to Speedcube Shop. Next section is quality control. With this, I have had absolutely no problems from either company. Every cube I've gotten has been in perfect condition, all the parts have been with it, and just generally everything with it has been just how I expected. I can't pick a clear winner here because I haven't had any problems with it, so I'm just going to give a point to both of them because both of them were extremely good. For our next section, we have website quality. It's extremely important to have a good website with your company. Even if you have great customer service and great quality control and great everything else, if you don't have a good website, no one's really gonna wanna shop there. The Cubicle and Speedcube Shop both have really good websites. They both have a bar at the top of the screen with different menus that you can go to within it. They have a bar of announcements flashing across the top of the screen of different deals, new cubes, and more. Below that, they both have different sections of cubes, different cube brands, and much more. In general though, I think the Cubicle has a better website. They generally have more sections on their front page that contain different things people might want to see and don't have to go searching through a menu to find. And especially mobile, the Cubicle is much easier to follow and get around and find other good things. Speedcube Shop is great on the computer, but most people nowadays are looking at stuff on their phones. And if you don't have a great mobile website, then you're kind of lacking. So I'm going to give this point to the Cubicle. Next up, we have YouTube channel quality. Both Speedcube Shop and The Cubicle have really good YouTube channels. They post almost daily with videos showing off new cubes that they just got, 
tutorials on how to solve the cubes, tips on how to use timers and stack mats in competition, and etc. I think Cubicle has a lot more fun videos, though. They've brought in Team On many times to make fun races against other Cubicle team members, fun cubing skits, and like funny style tutorials that I really enjoy. I just think they have a better variety of entertainment on their channel, not so much just showing off cubes. So I think I'm going to give this point to the cubicle, although it is, again, very close. And the final section to decide this whole debate for sure is cube variety. If you don't have a lot of cubes and you just have a few certain types of cubes, your company really isn't that good. If you're selling cubes, you need to sell a wide variety of cubes. I think Speed Cube Shop has a bit wider of variety. They have a lot of fun puzzles. They have all the WCA puzzles that you could want and all the premium puzzles of any variety, but they also have plenty of fun other puzzles like 2x2x3s or, or other crazy weird things that I don't even want to try to solve. So they generally have more fun cubes along with plenty of flagship cubes and all the new releases. So I think I'm going to give this point to Speed Cube Shop. Wait, that makes it a tie. Maybe they're just both equally as good? Has this whole video been pointless? Comment down below what company you think is better so we can finally end this debate and hopefully have a true answer of what is better, Speed Cube Job or The Cubicle.